So here I got Adrian, and Adrian is the founder of Besh. He's the creator of Besh, and, and he's the person that's going to be selling it. And I wanted to ask him a couple of questions about this new platform. You see, in my tests, I use this to create some simple scripts. So I, I created a couple of widgets, a mortgage calculator. Uh, I created a game, uh, Space Invaders. I actually created a Tetris game as well. And I was impressed by how fast it was. It was actually able to produce code way faster than I would be able to do myself. But the question that I had, Adrian, is can you create more complex scripts with this? Can you create entire SaaSs, entire web-based platforms? Complex uh, apps. Um, I mean, Xbesh allows you to connect uh... Um, you know, for the more advanced user, you can connect it with GitHub, with a serverless um, way of deploying your application. You know, it, it's technical terms, but it's actually just put your code somewhere in the cloud and then just run it on the serverless uh, application. So you don't need hosting. You don't need my, so bottom line, you don't need hosting. You don't need to be a database expert. You can connect super base databases and you can you can have Xbesh create the whole SQL uh, databases, whatever you need, it can it can do it. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I realized that you're not going to be able to create a complex software out of one prompt. And uh, I want everybody to understand that, you know, you're going to need to be a little more detailed than say, make me a video software. Because the software yeah. can't read, the, the AI can't read your mind. You have to describe exactly what you want. And incidentally, when I write software, uh, the software that people get is not the thing I initially write. I go through many iterations. So I, I would expect that with Bash, you're going to have, you're going to have to do the same thing. You're going to have to basically tell it an outline what you want. It'll produce it. Then you say, hey, make these changes, make these changes, which is kind of cool because it, it basically becomes your software developer for you. Right. You're like yeah. having your own coder that works for you and you don't even got to pay. So I actually like that. Uh, the thing you were saying about the cloud, though, uh, that, that's interesting because that's the concern I had. When you create a SaaS, there's things like databases, user logins, securing passwords, things like that, all kinds of things that you do on the server. So what you're saying is that Besh will do that for you. You don't have to do any of that. So if you let's say you want to connect a database, right, but you don't know how to create a database, you don't know how to host it, you don't know any of that stuff, right? It's da database SQL, uh, you know, SQL commands are hard even for us as developers. We don't like them, right? So what you can do is just you link it with a Superbase account. You know, you just connect it. And then Xpesh is actually going to execute everything for you, build a database, uh, execute the SQL queries to build all the tables and, you know, do all the necessary work, the groundwork behind the scenes. So once you run the app, the database is already created for you and is already connected with your app. So let's say you want to build an application that allows people to authenticate, simple sign up and logging, right? You can do that without having to write a single SQL line of code or even any line of code whatsoever. You just tell it, I want this to be connected with Superbase. I want you to build me the table that I need. You don't even need to tell it what it needs. It's going to understand and it's going to build it for you. So what I want to show you is how fast actually get back to the to the subject and show you how fast you can basically uh, push your, you know, your applications, your projects, your games, whatever you want to develop. Uh, with um, Xpest. This is something everybody, everybody, I always say that a big problem with IAM software that comes out is that people don't test it. As you can see, the vendor of this product has been using it himself and testing the shit out of it. So good good for you, Adrian. Look how many projects I did. Yes, a lot of times, you know, I, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll review a product, I'll interview somebody, I'll say, oh, well, show me the things that you've been using, you're, that you've been doing with it. And they're like, uh, I got a demo. Yeah, Adrian's <laughs> actually using this to create I, real software. I, I, I actually, I, I actually build all the pages that people are going to see, including the landing pages, the JV page, as you can see here, is like the Xpesh, you know, affiliate hackathon. Um, I don't know. There's, there's a lot of things that I've built from. So you games. built some of the stuff for the Xpesh launch, launch with Xpesh. Most of the, most of the stuff, most of the pages that people are going to see are actually built with Xpesh. Absolutely love it. Very cool. Yeah. So, you know something, because I do enjoy you as a developer and, and our time together, what I'm going to do is just ask it to build something from scratch. And I'm not going to even type a single word. You ready? Okay. Build me a simple Tetris game retro style. Oh, it's got voice integration. I like it. Yeah, I love it. I love it because I don't even have to type it anymore. So if I have like more 
uh, detailed um, explanation than I want to give it, like it can do. So now it's going to be, uh, uh, you know, it's going to, for more advanced users like yourselves, you probably want to see your code written in certain um, um, the coding Great language works, like yeah. like React, like Next, Vanilla JS, Vue, Angular, whatever. You can choose it, or you can let AI decide. So for this, or or you can just put your own custom stack for front end, language, back end. Usually, I like TypeScript because you know AI is 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 very good at TypeScript. Uh, but I'll let AI decide, okay? Because I'm a newbie, I don't know which one I have. Yeah, to ninety nine percent of the people watching this are just gonna click let AI decide. So, so don't let that confuse you. Okay, let me just close this tab over here so we can see what it does. Okay, so now it it created my um it created my environment. Okay, look, my hand is out the keyboard, guys. I'm not typing. Plus, I wouldn't be able to type this fast. Look at this thing go. Yeah, I couldn't type that fast. Look at this thing go, right? It's just created already like 44 lines, and now another 48 lines in less than seconds. So it created our index, our style sheets. Um, so it's creating in simple HTML. Hmm, I'm curious. I was expecting to use maybe React or Node or something. It's uh, JavaScript. Honestly, that's it's actually cool. And I'm looking, I can see some of the files on the left. It's a little smaller. Oh yeah, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna use JavaScript because really I think it's- And incidentally, if I was to write a Tetris game, I would use JavaScript. Yeah, so we did the right choice, I think. It did. It did. I would use plain old JavaScript, which is what it's using, because that's really the most ILD deal thing for a web-based game like that. Definitely. Let's see. So I think in under like under five minutes, I think we're gonna be able to play this game. Okay, I'm bad at Tetris. I haven't been playing this like since I was little. It even makes when you you know I'm I'm making this speed up. So I'm pressing down key. It's just you know you have the controls over there in the in the in the right section, you know. But this is just an example of how fast this thing can can build stuff, right? Let me. I'm just curious if it if if I make a line, if it's gonna be you know. Oh, you want to see if it actually works? Yeah, let's yeah, see. It. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's yeah. put it to the test, Adrian. I like that. Let's go ahead. I, there I, go. I, I've been a tester for, I've been software tester for quite some time. Look at that. There you keyboard. go. It did it. And it also, the scores, look, I got the scores, 40, level one, lines one. Let's see, it should increase the score and the lines. Boom. Okay, one thing that I've spotted, okay, it does. it doesn't show me the next element that it's coming, right? So we can consider that like it's not the way we want it to work, right? Can we? Right, we right. Can. But you can tell us. You know, let's start, let, let's do a quick change instantly. Just getting this far. Everybody watching this. Okay. Just getting this far would take me four hours. Yes, and let's, okay? let's, and, let's, and I'm not working for less than one hundred fifty dollars an hour. I can do better. Let me let me do something, please. The next screen is not showing the next element. Can you please fix? And also, please change the design to something sci-fi, futuristic, like 2015. <laughs> How about something more complicated that just turned... All right, yeah, you want, to, you want to set the bar higher for yourself. I'm okay with that. I, I, you know, I like to put my money where my, where my mouth is. So I just want to, to show people what this thing is actually capable of. Okay. So now it gets back to work. Now it's going to, you know, completely redesign the CSS files, everything it needs to look more futuristic. So let's, let's see it in action. I think this is a really cool demo. I know it's a game, but with Xpesh, you cannot build only games. You can build websites, um, applications, mobile applications, uh, plugins, like whatever you're thinking that you know can be done via coding, you can do it. Including can this, can this code in Java? Can I create um, I you know can I create Android apps with this? Yes, if you if you tell the tech stack that you want to create like Java. Like the Java, like the old Java, not the JavaScript, the Java, Java, like, you know, the, the original Java one, right? and JavaScript are two different things. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Things, yeah. I know. But, uh, yeah, no. So if I tell this and I say, hey, I want, I want this, and I describe my project and say, but I want this to be an Android mobile app, it will create that, it will do that as well, right? Do you want, do you want us to really put a stress test on this? And I will no. ask him, I will ask him 
after it shows that it's capable of changing this, I will ask him to change the full code base in Java. What do you think about that? No, no, don't do that. <laughs> okay. We have to okay. keep this under like 20 minutes. Let's <laughs> yeah, talk okay. about the photo still. But it can, it can do that as well. Okay. But just for our fun, once the interview is done, we can do it. Okay. Tell you the truth. I don't know if he's going to do it, but we're, <laughs> we're going to put it to the test. I, th I think you're loving this app, Adrian. <laughs> it gets so addictive. I'm telling you, I've been vibe coding like crazy in the past couple of weeks and months, I think, that it just gets very addictive. When you see that you just have some idea in the brain and you go and tell it to the AI and you see it build, it, it's, it's just like a drug. It, it, you get addicted to it. You want to build stuff that you've been thinking for years, but you never had the execution power neither the knowledge to, to do it yourself or it was too expensive or did you, you didn't know a developer to build it for you. Okay, so it finished. So let's go ahead back to the previous section. We'll look at that. Okay, let me just click. Look at that. I think yeah, it's, it's got the preview, the next block preview. Yeah, I like it. Very cool. It's got a new layout, new design. It says Tetris 2050 because you said Tetris 2050. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Yeah, I like it. It's a little yeah. glowing there and stuff. It's very cool. And what's what's really cool though is you people can keep uh, telling it to alter the system as it wants until they finally get it exactly the way they want too, right? Yeah, I mean you can tell it. Can you put like pause menu? Can you can you ha add a pause button and can you add a, a leaderboard score next to this? So it, it's gonna build it. Right. That's very very cool. I like this. I got to tell you something, Adrian. Uh, first, can you bring us back? Come back. Stop sharing your screen. Let's let's talk about some other stuff. Yeah, uh, sure. But I gotta. I, I got to be honest with you, though, Adrian, uh, this app, absolutely hate it. Absolutely hate it. And you know why? Because I spent 15 fucking years of my life learning how to do this shit. <laughs> the good Not thing, liking it. The, the yeah. good thing is that y you are, you know, I, I don't want to put it in a, in a bad way, but you are close to retiring from development. So oh, you really? already did your part. But just think about the junior developers, which has... He, which stands no chance in no, in this no, wait world. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! You see a fat bald guy with a gray beard and say I'm close to retiring. I got you. <laughs> That's all right. I mean, you've coded quite 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 a while. I did. Right? I actually so... I actually am retiring at fifty. I got three more years and I'm done. Right. Uh, so right? yeah, but no, this is uh, it, it's it's super cool. All, all joking aside, I, I I like the fact that that people. I mean, it's going to screw all the freelancers out there, you know. But I like the fact that people can now finally build the ideas that they had in their head. And that, that's really the power of AI, that you can start creating things that you would never be able to create before because now you have this basically worker that will just work for you for free all day long, whenever you want. They don't call off. They're not sick. They don't feel good. They didn't ask for a raise because they don't get paid anyway. Yeah. And you just have this worker at your beck and call to create things for you. And I think that is super, super cool. So what, what is the front end cost, Adrian? Uh, we're going to be starting up uh, with a starter plan for 47 and um, the pro plan is going to be $67 one time. 47 bucks. So you pay 47 bucks, you, you have you know, a, a million you know credits and a million tokens, more than enough to create multiple softwares. There's upgrades available. Incidentally, 47 bucks is insanely low uh, because I wouldn't type I wouldn't type 10 lines of code for you for $47. <laughs> for, for, for that money, you can build, you know, dozens of applications yeah. with the tokens if, that if, you're going to you get. Guys, if, if everybody watches, if you message me and said, hey, Brad, what can I get for 47 bucks? I wouldn't answer. As far okay. as coding work. If you message me and said, Brad, I have $500, I wouldn't answer. 47 bucks is incredibly low. There's going to be upgrade options. Uh, I'm sure people have questions here. Adrian is doing something super cool, something I always suggest people take part in. He is doing a pre-launch webinar. Uh, the first one is at 2 p.m. on the 6th, right? On the 7th. On the 7th, 2 p.m. on the 7th. May 2 p.m., uh, yeah. One of the downsides of working from home is that I sometimes forget what day it is. Tell me about <laughs> I'm always it. always at work. I'm sure you have that problem too. But 2 p.m. on the 7th, uh, I definitely suggest people sign up, go to that pre-launch webinar, see the system in action. And what's really cool is Adrian will be there, so you'll get to ask some questions and decide if this is right for you. Now, if you can't make the 2 p.m. webinar, uh, there is another one uh, the day after at 10 a.m. Yes, 10 a.m. And if you miss both of them, 
Well, I'm sure there's going to be a replay. I will make sure I get that for you guys. Yes, also, it, as always, there are special bonuses for anybody who picks this up for me. Click the link in the description to check them out. And uh, thank you for taking the time to talk to me today, yeah. Adrian. It's very exciting what you have here. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. 